To Turkey now. The death toll has topped 41,000 people. And at this point, there are controlled demolitions that are taking place all across that region. They are now well into the 200th hour of heartbreaking destruction, and they are still finding survivors. There are miracles to be had, but time is running out. I want to share one of those miracles with you. Rescuers pulling a 13-year-old boy named Mustafa out of the rubble. He is alive. He was saved 228 hours after the earthquake hit. The mayor of Istanbul posted this video saying, quote, hope is not lost. Shamim Chowdhury is live for us in one of the tent cities that has been housing evacuated people who are now homeless in Adana, Turkey. Shamim, thank you for being with us again this morning. Tell us about these tent cities, uh, who is there and, and what you're seeing. Well, tens of thousands of people, at the very least, have been evacuated uh, since Monday's twin earthquakes. And this uh, tent city is one of many that have been set up in the ten provinces that were affected by the earthquake. And this is where the evacuees are living. Now, these ones were provided by the Turkish uh, uh, Man uh, Emergency Management Authority, or AFAD. They say that they've provided around uh, 200,000 tents. They're all heated. They can uh, house up to about 10 people, perhaps even more. And Afad is also providing three hot meals a day uh, for the evacuees. Now, other tents have been provided by NATO. NATO's uh, chief, uh, Jens Stoltzenberg, was actually in uh, the, uh, this area in southern Turkey today. He met up with his uh, Turkish counterpart, Mevlut Çavuşoğlu, and they talked about how NATO, bear in mind that Turkey is a NATO uh, member, uh, and they talked about how NATO was going to assist. It's already been assisting emergency um, uh, rescue workers and a whole, a whole host of other emergency material has been sent by NATO um, since the earthquake started. But Stoltenberg said that he will be providing, or, or rather NATO will be providing, tens of thousands of more tents. So that's to come. Now, we also have to bear in mind that more than 100,000 people have been injured, many of them seriously. Many of them have lost limbs. There's also psychological uh, uh, trauma that needs to be treated. So there's a whole host of issues that the Turkish authorities now need to deal with in the medium and long term uh, as a result of the earthquake. And that really is what the focus is on now. We just heard that one person has been found within the past 24 hours or so. It's true that survivors are still being dug up and certainly rescue workers are not giving up hope. They are still searching, but really there's a very robust uh, kind of uh, 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 operation going on uh, in, in tandem to the uh, rescue operation. And that is one of tending to the survivors. There's a big emphasis on that right now. Yeah, and you can see one of the rescuers there just emotionally drained uh, from participating in 24-7 uh, uh, rescue and recovery. Shamin Chowdhury, thank you for that. And on top of all of this, you've got controlled demolition and aftershocks to the tune of 3,000. Uh, we'll be checking back in with you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.